What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I will be making a beginner's guide on how to use PowerTab Editor. Um, if you don't have it already uh, and you already know what it is, obviously since you're here, um, just Google it, PowerTab Editor. As you can see I've already done that. I got my download from CNET. Um, I didn't have, there were no viruses in the one I downloaded. So just if you get yours from a different website, be mindful of that. You never know. Um, so just take the safe route and get it from CNET. Um, anyways, I downloaded it from there. I think it was a compressed file or a zip file. Um, um, anyways, yeah, extract it. And once you extract it, you can install it from those extracted files. Anyways, um, once you've got it downloaded, open it up. It always comes up a tip of the day. You can turn that off if you don't like that. Um, close it out. To get started, um, set up your instrument. Um, I'm a guitarist, so I'm, I'll be using a, an acoustic guitar today. You can do nylon or steel. Um, we'll go with steel today. Um, the tuning, uh, we'll start with an EA DGBE. You can change that by doing the arrows. Uh, once you click the arrows, for some reason the letters disappear. I think that's a bug or something that never got patched. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep it in EA DGBE. Uh, you can add a second guitar or a third guitar if you wanted, or any instrument, by clicking this instrument button right here. You can title it whatever you want. Uh, we don't need that today, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Clicking that X and hit Yes. Uh, we'll just go with the one guitar. Click OK. Um, we're going to set the time signature. It's already set to 4-4. Four, four. You can change that by either clicking the 4-4, four, four, or you can also click this button right here that says 3-4. Uh, either way, it pulls up the same dialog box. You can change it to whatever you want, 3-4. You can do 6-8. 6-8 uh, is the, probably the second most common time signature. Uh, but today we're going to keep it in 4-4. Four, four. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know how that goes. Alright, once you got your time signature and your guitar set up, you want to set your tempo. Default is at 120. Uh, we're going to keep it at 120 today, uh, but you can change it to whatever you want. Click OK. Alright, and now you're pretty much uh, ready to go ahead and start tabbing out whatever you want. Uh, let's go with just a basic whole note strum. We'll go with an E minor, a C, a G, and a D. So, you probably know how to tab out an E minor. 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. Since all of those are stacked on top of each other, it will be played at the same time. Uh, we're going to make that a whole note. These are all your note values down here. I should have mentioned that, but whole note, half note, quarter note, so on and so forth. So all those are whole notes, and we're going to hit play from beginning. That's what this button is. Alright, so cool. We've got a whole note there. Uh, what's next? C. That's a th three, two, zero, one, zero. Keep those whole notes as well. Uh, next is a G. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm using my arrow keys to move across the uh, staff. So G is three, two, zero, zero. Um, I like to do an extra three right there. That D note. Um, that's not your normal G chord but it's a nice nice little sound um, alright and what's next D I think I said so that's uh, 0 3 no 2 0 2 3 2 is a D major also whole notes alright play from beginning let's see how that sounds So that's that's about as basic as it gets, you know. A little four chord, uh, whole notes. Now, of course, if you wanted to do, you know, tab out some strumming pattern, let's make this what a half note. Um, yeah, let's do two. Let's split it up into two half notes. Do the same thing over here. Oh, those are quarter notes. What am I thinking? Uh, 
OCD is kicking in. Alright, so I'm basically adding spaces just by clicking the space bar. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these spaces by uh, shift space. That'll remove a space. Uh, that looks about even right there. Remove a space. I think I removed two spaces on that last one. two three two just back to a half note this is probably going to sound silly let's see how it sounds okay still very basic um, make that a quarter note and put some eighth notes behind it or after it, shall I say. So that will basically simulate um, alternate strumming or a strumming pattern. See how that sounds. Yeah, okay. I like that. Let's uh, do the same thing for this one. Space. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, of course, you can delete those just by clicking the ones you want to delete and pressing delete. I don't think backspace works. Nope. It's just a delete button. So you can add or delete that way. Zero, two, two, two. Put those back in. Alright, now if you want to add a section, you're going to go up here to section and hit new section. Now you have a whole other section to go. Okay, now let's say um, you wanted to have two guitars playing. Um, so we got this second section. Hold on, I'm going I'm to delete this section. Uh, remove section. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, now, if you want two instruments to play at the same time, you're going to have to add a section attached to it. So you're going to go to section. Um, attach staff, I think. Yep. We're going to go bottom of section. And it attaches it down here to the bottom. And you see how this line right here goes all the way across? That means they're connected. Um, they're playing at the same time. Okay, so let's set up a second guitar. Um, let's do a clean, clean guitar. Same tuning, of course. And uh, let's just have this little guy over here um, arpeggiating the chord. We'll do eighth notes. Zero, two, two, zero, 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 two, oh, two. See how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Might take a little trial and error to get the timing just right. Um, oh yeah, and for your second guitar, you actually have to uh, assign the second guitar to play at the same time. So you see right here, it says guitar one. That means guitar one is playing this section. And then you can come down here and hit guitar in right here. And you're going to select guitar two and hit OK. So now you got guitar two playing this section at the same time. Let's see how this sounds. Oh, hold on, I forgot one thing. If you're arpeggiating, you're going to have to let all these notes ring out. So you're going to click this let ring for each note. All right, let's see how that sounds. Um, hmm, let's turn guitar one down. No, that's not how you do it. Um, yeah, so guitar one, turn the initial volume down. Alright, 
I think I did that right. See, that's a half note, quarter note, and that's another quarter note. So, yeah, that's a full. Okay. So, let's do the next chord here. Let's uh, put a music bar in here just so we can maybe add it to empty positions. That is empty. Okay, let's. Oh, that's. Okay. Um, There we go. Put the space right there. Add this music bar in here. There you go. Now it looks a little tidier, I think. Alright, let's throw the C in here. Three. Nope. Not a half note. An eighth note. There we go. Two, zero, one, zero, one, zero. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need one more. Okay. Slap in another music bar. Boom. How about that? Alright. Uh, slap a music bar in right here. That's going to be the G. Two, zero, zero, three, three, three. Dang, nab it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have to add a space in there. Oh, not two spaces, one space. And a D, which is zero three two. No, zero two. Damn it! Two three four five six seven. <sighs> the spacing is annoying. There we go. All right. Let's see how to make make these ring out. See how this sounds. All right, that D sounds a little silly, but whatever, we'll keep it with that. All right, so you got, let's say you got your guitar set up and you want to add some bass to it. So right now you're viewing your guitar, guitar score, but you can click this one right here to see your bass score. Of course, you're going to have to select a bass guitar um, it's already selected so finger picking um, E, A, D, and G okay and let's see we're playing an E minor I'm not a bassist so I'm just hitting root notes what did I do a half note and I think a quarter note and two eighth notes music bar in there just to keep it tidy and then a C which is three that needs to be a half note another half note and a G Just play it on the fifth fret, because why not? What? Go away. All right. See how that sounds from the beginning. that bass really adds to it. I love it. Um, just for shits and giggles, how about we go in here to the guitar in. Oh, keep that in there. I clicked the wrong button. Right here, the instrument panel. That's it. Let's make this a five string bass. Alright, so that's going to be a low B. So this D right here, we can get a low D on there instead of the high D. Let's see. Um, what? That's not four. That ah shit. Um. <sighs> I'm 
probably going to have to start all over. This is why you want to set your instrument up in the beginning. Because if you make any changes, it's, it's, I don't think it, unless if I'm just not doing it right, that, that could be a very real possibility. Um, what the hell? Can I delete the score? This is about to piss me off. Let's try creating one and then deleting the original. Will that work? Guitar in? No, it won't. Attach a new section. No, that's still a four, four string section. This is gonna piss me off. Aha. Okay, so I just learned something new today. So that since this is a four string bass section, if you want to change it to a five string, you have to go into tablature, you hit section, tablature staff type, and change it to five. Then you'll be able to put in, yep, you'll be able to put in your five string bass. Okay. So we're learning together. Let's throw these back in here. Let's see, a zero. That needs to be half note. And then quarter note and two eighth notes. And then your C, which is the three. I think I just did two half notes for that one, right? And then a G, uh, which is the third. Get this low D in here. This is going to sound awesome. All right. Um, let's see. Five. That's the third fret, right? B, C, D. Yeah. So it's third fret. Make that a half note. There we go. Another half note. All right. Play from the beginning. that all right now you can switch back to there if you wanted to uh, one thing I meant to show you earlier if you wanted to label these chords um, anybody who uses your tabs that you make will really appreciate this um, you just click the chord or click the yeah the chord that you want to label click this button here that says CM and then you can select it from the list let's see that is an E minor so you can click E Lowercase m is for minor, no additions or alterations. Okay, and boom, E minor right there. Do the same for the C. C major, okay. G major. And D. Major. Alright, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't change the sound, but it's it's uh it's good notation all right and I'm gonna wrap that up here this video has probably gone on long enough there is your intro to power tab editor uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did click the thumbs up um, like and subscribe and I'll catch you all next time